Helga Holcomstetter. I'm an associate professor in the School of Public Administration at the University of Victoria. I wanted to talk a little bit about a Jean Monnet project that um, we're running here from the European Center, European Union Center of Excellence. Um, that's called Narratives of Migration, Memory, and Xenophobia. Um, the project is a graduate field school. Um, it has um, a couple of different elements to it. The idea really, um, it comes from observing that we're at some we're an interesting historical moment here in Canada. We are going through the aftermath of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission recommendations. And in Europe, Europe has been dealing with the aftermath of a migrant crisis. And these two things might seem like they're two very different and disparate uh, phenomena. But what we thought about as we looked at these two things that are happening at once is that both are actually around how we deal with memory as a political and cultural phenomena and how memory actually shapes current political responses. So what we wanted to do was to bring together students from Canada and from Europe to be in a group together to think together about some of the common problems that they might face around these two very different phenomena. So we'll take Canadian students and go to Europe. We'll travel to some important historical sites around historical memory, in particular around the Holocaust. So we'll go to Budapest, we'll go to Ravensbrück, and we'll go to the south of France. And at those sites, we'll be talking directly and thinking directly about how crises, how memory, how xenophobia, how no notions of citizenship and identity are both historical and contemporary shape current political responses to the crises that Europe is facing. And at the same time, we'll be thinking all alongside how Canada has been dealing with its own um, issues around incorporating the recommendations of the TRC. And so we'll end then by going to Winnipeg, to the Human Rights Museum, and thinking more directly about the Canadian context and Canada's own history. And then we will wrap it all together with a symposium in Victoria at the end of August. Now, alongside this kind of really academic project, we'll actually have a performance element and that we'll have composers traveling with us. And at each site, they'll be performing a piece that is meant to incorporate some of the memory and some of the current events and how we kind of incorporate or think about memory and current and politics at the same time. We'll be asking students to, uh, first of all, uh, write a blog that documents their experience. And one of the things that we'll be really looking at as well is, um, is not just the academic experience, but also the personal experience. Mm -hmm. um, so how they interact with other students and what they learn from each other. Um, students will also have to present papers at the symposium. So, and those papers will be academic and we'll be publishing those. Um, there'll be music and uh, recordings of the, of the concerts, and that's another set of outputs. And then the final set of outputs that we're looking at is actually creating a teaching resource. So really, uh, it's aimed at graduate students um, to talk about how we can actually talk and teach meaningfully about history, um, and particularly about history as actually a political act.